and talk to a, a woman who is working around the clock to try to help all of us fight all of them. And really all of them aren't that many, but when you've got the reins of power, it becomes a, a remarkable issue to be sure. Rosa Corey is her name, and she's been on the program before, and I think she's standing by right now. Are you there, Rosa? I sure am, Jeff. Welcome back. Thank you. So you're working uh, seven and a half days a week, too, are you? Yes, I sure am. Well, the uh, the other side is not giving us any time to kick back and, and really take it easy. They're not showing any mercy at all. It's uh, It's a very ugly situation. Yeah, it's relentless. It truly feels that way. I do have, every once in a while, I get kind of uh, a little bit depressed, and then I just pull myself together and say, you know what, we've just got to, we have got to do this together, we've got to fight it, and we're going to win. Well, they won't quit, and we're not going to quit, so that brings up the issue of who can outlast whom, I guess. <laughs> There's more of us. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's for sure, it's like 98 99 percent to to one but mm-hmm. to get these people up and get them thinking is uh is the task and we don't have access of course to the mainstream media the uh the bolshevik zionist press as i call them or prostitutes as a lot of others call them so it becomes an exercise in internet reaching out and that's tough a lot of people now who are smart who are seeing the uh actual agenda as in 21 being rolled out there say well well you know, what can I do? They realize that so much is arrayed against us. But those are the very people we have to hold on to because they are the actual, they are the those who can discern and think and really be counted on to make good decisions. And to lose those people, I think, is going to be a real, a real issue. We've got to hold on to them, make sure they feel like the war is still winnable and we must not quit. And I know you spend a lot of time wondering about that like I do. I've been doing this 18 years, and I think all the time, how many people are coming on board? How many people are seeing this and getting it who Mm -hmm. are staying in the fight? And how many of them are saying, well, it's time to pull back? So it's Mm -hmm. tough. It's tough. Well, you know, that's the thing about this is that there's not going to be anywhere to go. And uh, I, I'm actually going all over the United States now, speaking uh, to you know groups in all over the country. And uh, I think you know what I, I ended up writing a book because I realized I just couldn't be everywhere. But I think that it's very important that uh, that people know that they are not alone. That this is a huge grassroots movement. That it is everywhere, and that people more and more and more people are waking up every day, and they are, they want to be active, and they're getting out there. Good. That's crucial. Now, if you click on Rosa's name, you'll see her website, and it's it's really, I think. It, a very important site and going to become more so. It's called the Post Sustainability Institute. Now, sustainability is one of those ugly, evil words that people <laughs> just don't get. And that's really at the base of uh, of educating people to be able to understand what's happening. They must know what the key words really mean. Sustainability sounds innocuous, progressive, constructive, intelligent, logical, and all the rest of it. But it is the antithesis of that. Oh, it's absolutely true, and you know, that's why we call it the Post-Sustainability Institute, because, of course, sustainability is one of the buzzwords of Agenda 21, sustainable development, and post-sustainability is the condition of environmental, political, social, and economic systems after the imposition of communitarianism, and that is the overarching philosophy of Agenda 21, which kind of says that if you uh, if you focus on yourself as an individual, you are selfish. You should be um, huh. you should be thinking about the common good. Oh, yeah. And it's sort of like oh, the fatherland, you know, everything for the fatherland, or in our case, or the, the hive, fatherland. or the herd. Yes. Uh, sure. Right. Yeah. It's well. Right. That's you're common. an enemy. You're a threat to the planet as right. an individual. Well, it, it ultimately is uh, communism is yes, what we're fighting. That's right. Uh, I noticed there are two chemtrails right in the middle of your, your big picture there <laughs> over that. Uh, Not everybody notices see, that. You know, oh, about yeah. one in every fifty thousand or so picks right. that up. Yeah, right there. Uh, so at the top of the post sustainability institute homepage. 
and again, just click on Rose's name at rents.com and you go right there, is uh, the most important thing, I think, in a larger sense that we can all try to avail ourselves of, and that is knowledge about what is UN Agenda 21. Now, in our little town, uh, they tried to ram through one of the ugly tentacles of Agenda 21. And this has been successful in in hundreds of cities around the country because the the voters don't know. They're hornswoggled very easily into believing all these buzzwords and cliches, thinking that they'll be good for their lives and their communities. And they're not. We stopped it here because we got the reality of what was going on out to the people. And that's what has to happen. They came here and tried to get the, the electorate to buy into the lie that the city needed a new charter. Ah. Needed a, you've heard this one. It's one of the mm-hmm. ways they do it. Right. Got to have a new charter. Got to update. Got to really get sustainable. Got to get green. Got to get with it. And, of course, in that charter were all kinds of, of just deadly statements. One of the keys, and I'll, I'll stop talking here. One of the keys was that the city was to hire a trained city manager. The city manager was not answerable, it turns out, to the city council, to the mayor, to anyone. He was essentially an autocrat, a dictator, if you will. Dictator. And that's what they that's what they do. And so the cities that vote these things in all of a sudden find out that there's a trained sustainability communist running their town. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the new Soviet. This is exactly what it is. And people, you know, can recognize it also in, um, you know, in, in, uh, in Hitler's Germany. You had, you know, this, this is uh, establishing a network of power where uh, you really have to go through one individual. And they, you know, and then they have their lieutenants who have a type. Well, those are like commis- or, commissars in the old right. uh, Soviet Gulag Union, sure. Mm-hmm. Exactly, and you're powerless against them. They have all of the power, and especially in an Ickley city, which many cities are, uh, who you know signed on to the International Council of Local Environmental Initiatives, where mm-hmm. basically you are uh, you're subscribing to the Earth Charter if you're a member of Ickley, right. and that is a requirement. And people people don't know that. No, and so, by the way, the controllers are no longer even bothering to tell people what the acronym ICLEI means. If you ask them, they'll all start uh, spewing this crap about uh, transparency, open, the same thing that <laughs> Obama does, open government, no no secrets. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's actually, you know how it is. I mean, it's obviously their, their whole uh, jargon and their, you know, their whole rap is exactly the opposite of whatever they say it is. So when they talk about transparency, of course, it's opacity. And when they talk about, um, you know, uh, freedom of choice, they give you no options. And this is the way that they run their jargon. I know. You know, it's, it's, it's not, it's a lie. Our young people now have never been dumber or less, oh, they can play video games wonderfully. They can text on cell phones wonderfully, but they can't spell and they don't read. They are right. They're being 40, indoctrinated. Forty percent of the children in the UK don't even have a book. They don't own one book. True story. <laughs> All right. Funny. Hold on, Rosa. We'll be right back in just a couple minutes. Her new book is Behind the Green Mask. And by all means, go to the website, learn about Agenda 21. 